Hello and welcome to another video of Silky Pix Developer Studio. In this video, I will explain you the Exposure BIOS tool, which works a similar way your spot meter in your camera. Where you might find the spot meter in GoPro or if you have a DSLR. Uh, what it does, it generally focus. You can focus on a portion of your photograph and expose there to make sure that it's well lit. Um, let me show you with an example. So you click the exposure bias tool and let's say you want to focus make sure that your exposure here is accurate forget about everything else but you have to make sure that your sky is uh, correctly exposed so you click there it made sure that the sky is well exposed however everything else gone dark that's what exactly the spot meter does which is not the most useful tool high contrast photograph where you have uh, a bright sky and a dark foreground and um, generally my suggestion what I do usually I pick the middle ground the mid-tone so let's say this is where I like I would like to um, expose for because it's right in between the brightest part of the photograph and the darkest part of the photograph so what I do, I'll go, I click there. Oh, somebody called the police. You know what, I actually did a good job. Now, it is true, I do agree, the sky gone whack. It gone out of, out of control, It's a, we lost the sky here. However, we made sure the foreground is well lit and exposed. What we can do from now on, now we have a base, we have a middle ground, and we can recover the sky now. So we go to exposure and make a fine tune so let's tune it back a little bit uh, until to the point where we don't lose any detail so let's pull back I mean this is all the trial and error there is no automatic solution this tool can get you to a point and then from there you have to do a little bit of fine tuning so let's go back and make sure that my sh I, I'm, I don't have any clipping in the shadow area I do have a little bit but that's negligible now our goal is to bring our sky back so you can go to the exposure again click exposure go to the color burn what color burn does it will reduce the highlight in your photograph push it all the way back and then you have another additional this highlight slider is only available in the slit Kibis developer studio pro version if you are using um, a free version that comes with your camera you might not have it in that case you probably have to play with your exposure all over again so why not do that here so we can do that here a little generally I don't use the exposure bias tool only reason why I play old school just like everybody else um, you go to the exposure slider go back and forth and play with the highlight and shadow or in this particular software I do have HDR which is brilliant tool for particularly this type of photograph where you have bright sky and the dark foreground so you can go straight to the HDR or you can use the dodge slash color burn both are exactly the same HDR can be a bit more extreme and strong and here I don't think I need any kind of a strong effect I can bring the sky back to the blue a little bit and bring some shadow back. So I can pull the slider up. As you can tell that I have my shadows back and the sky is not blown, really blown. We can check it now with the highlight warning. That is there a yellow but it's negligible. Let's say you want your sky to be more blue. You can go to the fine color controller, click the blue color and bring back the lightness a little bit. And then pull up the saturation a notch and have a pretty decent photograph. And this photograph however taken in Hamburg, highly recommend it if you'd like to visit one day. Um, if you want to know more about that uh, story of the Hamburg, I'll put the link in the description below. I hope this video helped and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. 